A few days ago, Marquez from MKBHD did a test on the Galaxy S10 Plus with a glass screen protector showing that it would not work with the in-screen fingerprint. Well, in today's video, we're gonna test that out. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. So here I have my Galaxy S10 Plus with the pre-installed screen protector. Over here, I have a bodyguards kind of bendable screen protector. And then here, Whitestone sent me their glass screen protector. So we're gonna try out a few of these and see if they really do work. One thing that Marquez maybe needed to try was actually reassigning the fingerprint to the phone once he had the glass screen protector on. So we're gonna see if that was one of the main reasons. So here you can see on the phone itself, I can just touch and there it is able to unlock with the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner. And that is with the screen protector that comes on the device and that's no problem. So here we're going to peel off that screen protector so it's just a little plastic piece. And next we are going to try this bodyguard screen protector. Now this is actually made for a Note 9, but uh, I figure this would be another thing that we can try as it fully adheres to the device itself. So here, we're just going to line it up the best we can and place it right there. Let's just smooth it down a little bit and make sure there are no bubbles where the fingerprint is. Okay, so, so far that is not working. Let's go in and try adding a new fingerprint and see if that helps. So even with this temporary screen protector, I was not able to actually add a new fingerprint. Um, let's try again locking or unlocking from the lock screen here. and it does not recognize. And it's possible because it's not fully adhered all the way, but let's try out the Whitestone Dome Glass. All right, so if you have not heard of Whitestone Dome Glass, this is a full adhesive screen protector for your Samsung device. It has full ultrasonic recognition, full clarity, full coverage, and full filling. And here is where it does state that please re-register your fingerprint after you attach the dome glass. So why does dome glass work versus other glass or what they state that it will work? I haven't actually tested out yet. Well, with dome glass, it uses a LOCA adhesive so it can fully adhere to the phone so there are no gaps and it's uh, just like your finger is touching the screen because it's touching the glass. There's no um, separation between the glass and the screen, it is fully adhered together. So I'm gonna set this up. I'll make another video all about how to do the install, but today we're just gonna do a quick setup so you guys can see if the fingerprint scanner works on the Galaxy S10 Plus. All right, I now have the Whitestone Dome Glass screen protector installed on the Galaxy S10 Plus. Let's try the fingerprint. So from the locked or unlocked position, it is not working. All right, so let's go in and set up a new fingerprint and see if it does it. So we're gonna go to settings, biometric and security, fingerprints, and here we're going to add a new fingerprint. So unlike the other screen protector, it would not allow me to even add my fingerprint, so now I am able to add a new fingerprint with the dome glass installed. All right, we fully added the fingerprint. Let's try it out again. So here, all the way from the locked position, I can unlock it just like that, it did work. And then here from the lock screen, we can do it as well. And a few different ways you can do it. So I've seen where people just press really quick and it unlocks it. Um, sometimes I have to hold it down a little bit longer for that to be able to work. So there you go, the Galaxy S10 Plus does work with the Whitestone Dome Glass Screen Protector. 
um, with no problems, I can unlock my device. You just need to make sure that you reset up the fingerprint once you have installed the glass screen protector. So if you have any further questions about the Whitestone Dome Glass or the Galaxy S10 Plus, please let me know in the comments below. I've used the Whitestone Dome Glass on a bunch of my phones. I've only ever had one problem with them, and that was because it was a bad install by me. I had to pull it off, wash it off, and reinstall it, and it just didn't do as good as I wanted it to. But other than that, I've actually really enjoyed these products. And uh, full disclosure, they did send this to me so I could try it out for you guys. So if you would like to see other videos that I make about the Galaxy S10 Plus, I will be posting a playlist up here on the side. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.